enjoy the gift I left you in Canterbury? You will die today, Fulke! But your men may live if you come here to me and settle this alone! We have nothing to settle! Die on these walls if you will! It is your choice! No wall is high enough to keep me from you! Then come! Clam your brother if you can! I shall wait with him! If you would find us, you need only follow his screams. Fulke! What will the Skulls say when they speak of this day? They will say we unleashed such rampant slaughter. That Odin himself stirred on his throne to watch. They will say that ravens blackened the sky to feast on Saxon dead. So raise your swords with me now, brothers and sisters, for today is the day we carve our names into legend! <laughs> I'm coming for you, brother. So many battles and so few scores, Basil. What's your secret? I don't get hit. Uh -huh. The simplest strategies are the best.
favor. and slack ladders. I know the trigger must be close. Up these stairs. Sigurd was here once, but no longer. Where has Fulke taken him? <gasps> Is this Sigurd's blood? Church! Fulke must have taken him there! Come on, Basim! Face us, Fulke! Your power betrays you! Feel stronger already. Uh, this door will need the strength of two. Hey, come here. Full K. I have done all I could to help him, Ava. The rest is up to you. No! No! Uh, brother, brother. I'm here for you. I have you. Let me stay with him. You deal with Fulke. 
come back for you. I promise. You cower for me, Fulke, like a rat in the dark. We are all in the dark, Ava. It is the search for the light that brings us closer to the gods. Save your babble. Death is our language now. You fight beneath the banner of ignorance, Ava. I could pull back the curtain for you, give you a glimpse of what lies beyond. I need nothing from you. you do not understand. Then you know. Do you not wonder, Aver, at the things I have learned? Every word you say is madness. Sigurd is an ancient one, an archon, Nephilim, Isu, call him what you will. He is reborn. He's my brother and my Jarl, and your mind sick. He is everything we should hope to be. Fulke! Damn you to hell! Fulke! You can't run from me forever! Nobody touch her. She is mine. You are too late, Haver. I have opened your brother's mind to the truth. That is my victory. And you will go with me to the grave.
has saved your brother. Animals we are. Spit and vomit. Shit soul. Sigurd is so much more. I gave him that understanding. That gift. You gave him pain! Yes! To awaken him! Let me walk. Sigurd. Eivor. I will... I, I will fight. As a thresher through a field of wheat, mad one. What has she done to you? Eivor! We delayed them as long as we could. Reinforcements from Winchester have come. Get Sigurd to a boat. I will hold them off till you're safely away. Fight well, Eivor. Find us at the settlement when you can. To the walls! Is that the last of them? We have beaten them back for now, but without Guthrum's army, we do not have the numbers to hold this fort. We found Sigurd. That is what matters. Guthrum was hasty in his judgment, Eivor. 
You are fit to stand with the best of us. Go to your brother. The words of one beloved will heal him faster than herbs. I will see to matters here. May the gods guide you, Uba, until we meet again. It seems we have won. A great victory. Not even these walls could stand against us. This land will be ours in time. What now for you? Uba and I will go west, driving the Saxons before us. Alfred will not hold a crown much longer. I hope one day to see you both there. I would like that. There's one more thing. What are you doing still talking to me? Enough goodbyes. Go to Sigurd. Yes. Be well, Uba. How did you like the taste of battle? That was... exhilarating. Reminds me of my younger days. Had you not delayed those reinforcements, we might never have succeeded. You are brave for a priest. Do not underestimate the faithful. We give our lives to a god we cannot see or touch. There is no greater bravery than that. <laughs> we could not have taken this fort without your archers, Hunwald. My thanks. Oh, it was nothing, you know. All in a day's work. I may need call on them again one day. Ah, was this not the only... Right. Because I was hoping... Well, never mind. Beerston, your ram was invaluable in breaching this fortress. A trifle in comparison to the great service you have rendered me. You will have a good story to tell Alvida upon your return. There is that. But battle is not so thrilling and glamorous as the stories tell. I shall have to spruce it up a little. Sigurd Jarl, back where you belong. <sighs> I missed you, my brother. Yeah, you missed me? Yeah. Once or twice a year. What? It took you time to find me. Was it for this? To enjoy your time on my throne? I did only what you asked of me. And you slew all those who questioned you. That is not what happened. Ranvi, Ranvi will tell you. Oh, yeah. We'll see. My dear wife. Brought to me as a gift by her clan to pacify my ambition. Yes, I'm sure she will be the one to tell me the truth. What did that witch, Fulke, do to you? You cannot even begin to imagine the things I've seen. What I've learned. Born of gods is who I am. A lord of war. 
A Roman Mars! I know who I am, I know my destiny, and you will not hinder me! Brother... Forgive me. I am faint. Tired of the day and all that has passed. I need air. He's been this way since his return. Could you speak with him? Settle his mind? I can try. Cheer one and yeah. all. Today is a day of celebration. Our Jarl is with us. As I would rather sit here quietly alone with my thoughts. I understand. Do not let Sigurd's present mood upset you. He spoke warmly of you as we sailed here. I believe he still trusts you more deeply than he can express. We trust each other. That is clear. Enjoy the feast, Eivor. of the man, a new composition of my own. Sunan, guide me. When I close my eyes, swim, I see you're the signs on the arms of gods. There you are, brother. What are you doing here? I was looking for you. Sigurd. Dark died defending my honor? So he claimed. Then he was a fool. My honor needs no defense. It is stone solid. Unblemished. I offered him a way out, but... Shh. Say nothing more of the past. It is gone. There is a rift as deep as death between then and now. I was tested, Eivor, in a crucible of blood and fire. And in my agony, I was reborn. You may think me less than I was, but this is not so. I am greater than before. My mind is a wellspring of prophecies, visions that tell me who I truly am. And for all that, I am grateful for my suffering. Sigurd, I want to understand. But all this, all you say makes little sense. Basim saw these things in me. Fulke, too. Despite her cruelty, she spoke the truth. I am more than the man I was. More than this hobbling stick that stands before you. You must look harder, Eivor. Deeper. See for yourself what they found in me. Do you see it? My greater self. I... I don't know what that means. Look. 
This is the face of a god. I see only my brother and my truest friend. Return to where he is loved and cherished. Where he's meant to be. You are kind. But your eyes are clouded by the past. A place I can no longer see. I fear our paths diverged long ago. Go. I wish to be alone. Return to my feast and drink for me. Celebrate the days to come in my name. The wind calls me back to Ranvi. Best tell her the good news. My love. What happened yesterday? You and Sigurd disappeared during the feast. And when he returned, he went straight to our room without a word. We talked for a time. I asked many questions, but got few answers. I wish I could say more. Do you think Sigurd knows? About us? I don't think so. He would have said something. Sigurd wants to blame me for every mishap that has befallen him, but gives me no credit for his rescue. I don't understand. Yet he does speak with you. With me, he has gone totally silent. So, what now? This is for Sussex. We burned it to the ground to save one man. Yet he's barely the man we were searching for. Quite so. I want to see the Alliance map. What transpires in Glauchestershire? You may have noticed that Gunnar has disappeared from his forge. He has traveled to Gloucestershire in search of a wife. A wife? He is in love. When did this happen? When doesn't this happen with our dear, lovelorn blacksmith? But there is a bright side. He has asked you to join him. Join his search for a wife? And see that he does not make a fool of himself. I believe he thinks that your presence would bolster his image. I'll be Gunnar's keeper, if only to bring him back in one piece. Very generous of you. Make for the town of Gloucester. You will find him there.
Survey the area soon. In. Steel and flesh met here, but Jatner leave no corpses. A ditch was dug, so the card would break a wheel. This was an ambush. This card bears the sign of Egir. Something huge was dragged this way. If it was Aegir's cauldron, they dragged through here. It must be large indeed. The trail of destruction leads towards that giant root. The end of the trail. Where is the cauldron? The midden of the great Jotun, Skrimir, dropped here long ago. Maybe the thieves took their burden inside. Soft moss all around. Hard to imagine this place once fitted a hand. This area is off limits. The missing cauldron. But how did they get it into this cave? That was not there before. Hard to know what is real in this realm of illusion.
to claim what is ours. fallen far to live in such cheerless squalor. It seems his sons have been hiding here, awaiting their chance to take him back. Too big to carry, but things are not always as they seem in Jotunheim.
Traveler. I'm getting the measure of these illusions. This cauldron should be enough to win Suttunger's favor. I could go to Utgard now, but a gift for Gunlother would improve my chances at getting the mead.
Do you see soon?
breath in your body. <clears throat> Loki often tells the tale of how Thrym stole Thor's hammer. It seems his account of Thor's rage was no exaggeration. bridal circlet. This will be a gift worthy of Gunlother's attention. See me, this will get messy. Go, soon. Sunen, guide me.
podcast about this land, my friend. Small to my eyes, stranger. Small in stature, but great indeed. I am the one they call Javi, the High One of Asgard, and I come bearing a great gift. Your name is known to me, but what could mighty Sutunga want that a little thing like you could provide? Your great cauldron, stolen by Hymir's sons. Let this offering be a beginning to the end of our hostilities. Such a small thing, yet so much deeper than it seems. Appearances can be deceiving, can they not? <laughs> well spoken, Harvey. Our people may be enemies, but you have earned your welcome here. Thralls, an honored guest has come. Prepare a feast! I hope also to meet your daughter, Gunlother. I have heard much of her skill in the mystical arts. She will be toiling at her work, as ever. But be forewarned, she shuns the company of others. I could summon her to the feast if you like. We might discuss matters of alchemy on the way. That would please me. You will find her in her grotto, up the path, within the circle of stones. Have a care, though. You are safe in my presence. But you wander Utgard at your peril. I will be discreet. And Harvey, be kind. Gunnlother is different from you and I. I need your eyes, my friend.
Gunlother. What is this place? Some time ago, we made powerful magic here. We sought to see all futures. But every road led to Ragnarok. Father does not visit here anymore. He sees no profit in it. But I am not yet ready to give up. You are Esir. I am. I have seen images of the future. Heard the voices of those who will come after us. Voices from... in there? Yes. I leave them words. Little packets of possibility, waiting for unknown ears, many ages hence. It may be you need a break from your toil, Gunlother. There is no time for rest. Ragnarok will be upon us soon. My people rely on me. There is to be a feast in my honor. Your father sent me to fetch you. No, not yet. Listen. I want you to hear the voices. Are you there, Prophet? Can you hear me? Perhaps another day. Another thread. Come. We must not keep Father waiting. Winter's knife cuts deep, and sky pearls fall thick in this land. It... it is cold out here. How can that surprise you? I haven't been outside in... I don't know how long. You are devoted to your work. Not my work, my responsibility. My people ignore the disaster bearing down on them. Someone must do something. We have long searched for a solution, until the burden of it has bent my mind. I do not think as clearly as I once did. I have heard there is one method still untested. There is, but to activate it would mean defiling our well of knowledge, from which all of Midgard drinks. There is no telling the change it would wreak on humankind. It would bring chaos at the least, and I do not wish to hurt them. Even if it means the death of all Jotnar. We will find another way. We must. This land is quite beautiful. I had all but forgotten. are kept. Such things would do great harm in the hands of evil people. No stone walls will defend us when Ragnarok comes. All we have built here will be swept away. into its very walls. The wind and snow have gnawed that tower to the bone. Soon, we will knock it down. Hans, my birthday, Rauschel, Likri Trampos, Hans, 
er Harvey! Your feast is prepared. I hope it pleases you. You are generous and hospitable indeed, great Suttunger. None can say otherwise. And see, your gift stands in pride of place, brimming with freshly fermented mead. Enough for a hundred Jotnar and more. This is an unexpected honor. You have filled it already with mead from your vault, then. No need. It has filled itself. Such is the magic of the cauldron. Impressive. But what if it should run out of meat? Do you hear this? Harvey fears she will drink us dry. <laughs> my cauldron is deep, but my vault is deeper. Do not worry about my stores of mead. I have plenty to go around. Father, you know revelry does not suit me. Must I attend this feast? I have work to do. Your work can wait, my daughter. Take a moment, enjoy yourself. Father, we have very little time. Enjoy yourself. I insist. Harvey, the guests are uneasy. They see an Aesir, but they do not know you. Will you address them? I am ready. Now, we will hear from our honored guest. The Lord of the Aesir has come in peace and brought us a mighty gift. Attend. Harvey, I am called, whose axe is never slaked. The blood of my enemies is my meat, their skulls my pillow. You brag well. They were ever pleased by violence. You are all brothers and sisters to me. Do not be too familiar. Jotnar are slow to trust. I could go on, but who wants to hear words when there's meat and meat to be had? You know your audience well, it seems. Now we will drink deep and eat heartily. Let the feast begin! The guests are not drinking fast enough. Perhaps I can speed things along. Musicians. Where is the music? Somber souls will only sip at their drinking horns. Conjure us a tune to raise their spirits. We are keen, but my harp has been stolen. We cannot play without it. Who would steal a song bring his instrument? There was a group of children playing around us earlier, with mischief in their eyes. I will get your harp back, and then you will play. Thralls, humans kept in bondage, bred to serve. Such is the fate of the lowly. The right food will inspire thirst. I should head to the kitchen. No guests in the kitchen! Out! They're calling for challengers to face their champion. A fight would... Abby! Show us your might! Beat our champion and we will drain our horns in your honor! Bring me this champion, and I will shine my knuckles on his jawbone. Behold! Do you mock me? I will not fight a withered old crone. <laughs> if you are too afraid to face her, well, that is that. If she's truly your champion, then so be it. I'll try not to break her brittle bones, but I promise nothing. The right And one, no one has ever done that before. Drink to me then, as you promised you would. All of you, empty your horns for heavy. 
The right food will inspire thirst. I should head to the kitchen. The meat is half gone. The Nagia's cauldron can be drained. Mighty friends of the Aesir. Are you not sorry to lose your cauldron? It was never mine by right. Thor won it from Hymir so he might feast in my hall. I only kept it on his behalf. And after that bloody business with Hymir's sons, well, I'd as soon be rid of it. I'll have no strife beneath my roof. The end of strife. I'll drink to that. And I'll drink to anything. Is there any sweeter music than the clash of drinking horns? I should try the archery contest. No doubt they will toast my prowess if I succeed. I got so drunk I shot my brother in the leg. What's this second worst? Greetings, Harvey. Will you test your arm at archery? You must hit three targets in a handful of heartbeats. I can shoot the wings of a wasp. Ah, but can you do it while mead adult? Before each attempt, you must take a drink. I'll take your challenge on one condition. For every drink I take, you take two. Ha! <laughs> That's a condition I'll gladly accept. Are you ready? Show me those targets. Then take a drink and let fly! What's the second worst? Close your eyes, your luck will improve! You look a bit wobbly there! You look a bit wobbly there! Careful! Fine shot! Now, have a drink and try another. You look a bit wobbly there! Careful! Steady eye now. The last one is the hardest. I need to empty that cauldron. Then Sutunger will open his vault. Did you forget your mead? Drink from the cup and start again. You look a bit wobbly there! Careful! Let us hope you hold your beer better than you hold a bowl! You hold your beer better than you hold a bow. You are a keen shot, Harvey. Your hand grows steadier with drink, where others lose their eye. Another round? Not for me. My belly roils like a knot of eels. And I see three of you. I think I should walk this off. You're not drinking, Gunlother. I do not care for it. Drink is the heron that steals away one's memory. Some would say it frees the spirit of worry. We call those people drunks. <laughs> I see your wit is as sharp as your intelligence. Wit? I was simply stating a truth. Let us play a game. Ask me some riddles. I'll see if I can guess them. I enjoy a good riddle. How did you know? All great minds enjoy riddles. You fashion order from disorder, sense from nonsense. You have me at that. Very well, I will play. Give me an easy one to begin. Would that I had now what I had yesterday. Find out what that was. Mankind it mars, speech it hinders, yet speech it will inspire. The answer is courage. No, the answer is ale. I thought you would get that, as you seem so fond of it. Would you like another? All right, I'm ready. Who is that shrill one? 
who rides a hard road and has fared that way before. He kisses hard who has two mouths and goes only on gold. A river has a mouth and sometimes flows on gold. A good try, but the river's kiss is soft. It is a hammer. One more? I've had enough. Oh. Very well. Loki there? Surely you would not dare. Loki! Not me, friend. My name is Thok. Forgive me, I... I thought you were someone else. Too much drink in too little time. The cure for that is sleep. Is that Loki there? Surely you would not dare. does not belong to you, little thief. You should give it back. What are you gonna do? Fight me for it? Why don't you give me a real challenge? All right. You want this hop? Go die from that meat. Climb as high as you can, though. I want a big splash. Watch and learn. What can I do to get them to drink faster? How many broken bones, you think? Fifty at least. Maybe a hundred. There. Now give back the harp, so the musicians may play. Umius, Harry Balls! That was amazing! You must be half raven! Who taught you such language? Mother? Why? Empty. I should tell Sutunga. Great Sutunga, your guests thirst for meat, yet the cauldron is dry. All gone? I never would have thought it possible. Good Father? Open the vault. Instruct the thralls to bring more mead for my guests. Do they really need more, father? Several are unconscious already. Do as I ask, daughter. Give them all they can drink. As you wish, I will open the vault. None will say that Sutunga is less than generous. None will be capable.
Finally, the vault is open. The mead awaits within. Javi? I, I heard a noise and... What are you doing here? Fate, Gunlothar. We are helpless to escape it. And we were fated to be here now, together. You and I? How? It makes no sense. The Nornir spin their patterns. We can only surrender. We are entwined, spun together. There is perfect sense in that. No. You tease and mock, but I do not believe your lies. Your only desire is the mead. You are a thief and an agent of chaos. I'll see you pay for this deceit. Guards! Your treachery will only win you death. Mead. By this strange magic, my Aesir evade our doom. Hirakin has promised answers at the will of Mimir. Betrayer! Deceiver! I treated you as an honored guest, and this is how you repay me? I saw you at the feast, Loki. Small wonder you disguised yourself after all you have done. Someone needed to warn my people of the treachery in your heart. Suttungor, show this Aesir how the Jotnar deal with thieves. Come, embrace your death! What? 
have you done with my daughter? For one such as you. Your bones will splinter beneath my boots. Thankful it was me who took your meat and not Loki. What I do, I do for the safety of the Aesir and Vanir. You will change countless fates, Harvey, but not your own. We will see. Hirokin said to find her at Mimir's well. I will deal with that venomous trickster another day.
roots of the world tree Yggdrasil feed from the well of Mimir. I am close. I sorely underestimated the heft of your balls, Oathbreaker. You dare to show your face. Oathbreaker, I did to you what you did to my son. This is only fair. And Suttunger, what of him? Don't blame me for your own lack of character. You stole the mead. For the safety of my people, Loki. For Aesir, for Vanir, for all Asgard. But not for Jotnar. Not for me. You let the Jotnar into Asgard. So many dead. All so you could smuggle in your son. He was not safe here. They knew what he was and knew what he would become. Just as you do. I swore to you I would not harm him. That is the truth. That is the truth now. But how it will gnaw at you, knowing that to kill my son will undo your doom. Release him, Harvey! Release Fenrir, or I swear, I will kill you, here, and now! You are out of favors, Trickster, and you're welcome to try! When my son is loosed from his bondage, he will ravage all of Asgard! <sighs> Let's see if you fight as well as you like. You might be the strongest, but I was never the quicker one. Curse you, Loki. We were like brothers once. When you can die now. Crash you, Loki. We were like brothers once. When my son is loose from his bondage, he will ravage all of Asgard. Are you finished? 
curse you, Harvey. Your own distrust has undone you. Now go, and do not show your face again. I cannot be other than who I am. All this was fated. All this will happen again. But you will not be here to see it. Do not be so sure of that. The game is not over. The game is never over! <laughs> Gone. To who knows what mischief. I will not see him again soon. Mm, I feel great. Probabilities lead us here. The calculations give us hope. Speaking with someone. Do you have the mead? I do. Must I drink it now? Not yet. For once you drink, your Hugur will take flight and be ever fixed. Drink only when the hour of your death approaches. Then why are we here? When Ragnarok has come and gone, this place will remain. Remain. And remember. Wise Mimir, keeper of the well, give me your counsel. You who seek immortality may find it within these waters. But there is a price. As always. The mead is not magic alone. It requires the sacred waters of Mimir's well to ferment into its final state. Before you take these waters, you must infuse them with the blood of the Asa. To remember you, it must know you. Surrender a part of yourself to the waters that nourish the world tree. Only then will you have that which you desire. Gunla, the wand of chaos and change. I would know the cost. Azir blood will infuse this water. And the poor humans of Midgard will be forever altered. What happens then? None can say. This is what the others feared. But then they always cared over much for vermin. And if I make this sacrifice, what then? While death and ruin rage all around, the world tree will keep you. Your body will die, but your hugur will live on here. In time, you will be born anew, into a new world, birthed from the ashes of the old. Do you vouch for this strangeness? I must believe it, for there is one I love dearly who depends upon it. And there is no other way? None. It seems I have no choice. You never did. How much would you sacrifice to be freed of fate's shackles? Would you give your tongue, your hand, your sight? I would give all that and more.
It is done. The sacrifice has been made. Whosoever drinks of the mead, the World Tree will remember them. And you, what is your sacrifice? My liberty. Sutungar and Gunlother will not forgive this trespass. They will hunt me now to the edges of the Nine Worlds. What are they to you? We ruled together for a time, a noble triad, as father, mother, and the sacred voice. Six times we tried to blunt the fangs of Ragnarok, and six times we failed. The Mead was our seventh. But they feared how it might change the humans for the worse, so they locked it away and banished me from Utgardr. By your efforts, you have returned to me what is mine. The ashes of my husband. He made his own sacrifice for knowledge. With a few changes to this mead, I may undo all Do as you will. I have had my fill of this cursed realm. Bright mind, heart's ease. Beloved, I will not fail you again. My work here is done. Now to Asgard, to save my people.
settle your mind and tell me what you have seen. Strange things, Volker. I'm learning much and seeing more than my mind can understand. Go on. In Jotunheim, I sought and found a mead of incredible power. It promised a strange effect. To drink it would deliver me from death, shield me from the destruction of Ragnarok. By this mead, I hope to live beyond my own death, well into the future. Fascinating. Was that your final vision? They have not ended, not yet. Something compels me to return to Asgard. The elixir is ready when you are.